If you recently saw Framer's new landing page and you're like, oh, it's pretty, I am imploring you to look again. I'm not saying it's not pretty, it's very pretty, but it's also a masterclass in design and copy that converts visitors into customers. So let's break down why it's so good so that you can steal the formula for your own website. So starting with the hero section, we've got a big, bold headline that combines the outcome and what makes them different. This is called an outcome plus differentiator headline. Build better sites faster is so stupidly clear that the only way to not understand what Framer helps you achieve is by looking away. Then the supporting copy here clarifies the scope. So it mentions CMS, SEO, and analytics. So they're digging into the features a little while centering it around the benefits they give you. You can see here, it starts with the benefits. So it says design freely, that's a benefit. Publish fast, that's a benefit. And scale, these are all things that you can do uh, without actually listing features. And then they go on to list the features with CMS, a feature, SEO, a feature, and analytics that's a feature. Then right below the text, they've got these two very clear CTAs that feel super low friction. So another thing to point out about these buttons is that this one here, the start with AI button is a trend driven differentiator, which makes it really easy for new visitors to say yes, because they sort of have an idea that this is new, it's fresh, and it's not just some old tool. So I actually worked at Framer for a year, and I can safely tell you that nothing they do is an accident. So the fact that some of these visuals are videos, and then some of them are images is a very intentional thing that they've done. Seeing a wall of videos would be way too much. Some of, I've seen that before, it's just, it's way too much, you don't know what to look at. And then also a wall of images would be too static. So mixing in a few videos draws people attention and shows them exactly what Framer can do with animations and effects. Then underneath it, we have a logo section to showcase some very credible customers. This is all social proof to get the customers to trust Framer. Now, Framer actually has a huge amount of customers, but by showing some very credible ones up top, it basically gets you to say, hey, well, I know them and I trust them. And if the guys that I trust, trust Framer, well, I guess that means I trust Framer, right? All of this, and we've barely even scrolled. Next, we have what I would call the how it works section. It's basically four separate sections in one, all highlighting a separate step in the process of using the product. In this case, we've got the four steps that Framer wants to highlight most, which is AI, design, CMS, and their collaboration tools. The layout here is super simple with the text on the left and the image on the right to reinforce the claims of the text by showing the product in action, but the animation just makes it feel so very polished and really professional. If you're doing something like this in your site, I think the most impactful thing that you could implement here wouldn't necessarily be the animation. It would probably be to make sure that you have really great imagery that very clearly demonstrates what it is that you're describing with the text. I also think it's super important to note here that not everyone should be building a site to impress other web designers. It just happens that that is very much the goal of this new Framer site. Then there's this kind of bento section next that showcases some tools specific to scaling the site. Notice how there are only three cards here with minimal text rather than a bento with just a thousand different cards all trying to showcase separate things. It's just all super confusing. This makes it really scannable so that the only things you're gonna remember are the things that are gonna get you to actually try the tool and take the action that Framer wants you to take. Nothing about how to use the tool or anything like that. It's just, that's not necessary. There are so many times that I've seen uh, basically a landing page being a full tutorial on how to use the tool that they're selling. It's just not relevant. Uh, haven't even decided they wanna use the tool yet. So I think that's just a really important thing to know is that everything here is just designed to get you to take action. Another really cool thing uh, that they've done here that we can talk about is that they've used very strong verbs to make everything feel real and actionable. Uh, here we've got track, 
measure, monitor, we've got scale in the heading, uh, optimize. That's actually a really cool tip, by the way, is to power up your copy. Uh, you want to focus on the verbs and make them really good. You always want to go for the stronger verb, not the longer adjective, <laughs> which you see a lot. So next we've got these uh, testimonials here. And this is, this is just really good. I feel like I'm geeking out here, but it really is just so brilliantly done. They've just about done everything right here. They've got a photo of the person, which reminds us that this is a real person. Uh, as humans, we tend to trust other humans more than we trust empty words. Then there's this, well, the quote itself from the person, which highlights one of Framer's unique selling points. In this case, it's speed and quality. In the hero, Framer said, build better sites faster. And now here, there's a real customer basically saying, yep, we built a Framer site and it was better and we built it faster because we used Framer. So it's verifying that initial hero section, that claim. And then we even have a video of their website to give further proof uh, so you can see for yourself that the site that they built is high quality. It's not just empty words. It's just so much proof. And when you hover over the card, a button will take you to a page where you can read the full case study, which is so valuable, especially for higher ticket clients who want to make a buying decision based on evidence and not just a bunch of claims. So below that, there's a carousel showcasing their expert network. And this is great for a few reasons. Um, here's two. So one, people don't like learning curves. They don't like learning new tools. Some people don't even want to use a tool at all. So being able to hire from hand-picked experts is just really reassuring for new customers, especially people uh, like CEOs. They're not gonna wanna jump into a tool. They're gonna wanna hire someone. And two, each one of these cards has a profile photo. Uh, it has a name, their country, and proof of their work. This is huge. This is really, really huge for trust. Um, if you have a website for like a service or something like that, where you wanna show off your team, I highly recommend doing this. Very, very big for trust. Next, they've got a section that showcases the community resources. So what's great about this, uh, specifically with the design, is that they've got two tickers going back and forth, which rather than using a carousel, this, these move infinitely at a steady pace and they never stop. And this is really perfect for when you wanna showcase like a very large volume of content because it gives the impression that there's more than you can even see. And in this case, I, I can vouch for that. It's totally true. There's thousands of materials and resources on the marketplace. So this is called social proof through abundance. And if you have a bunch of lower impact things like images, I wouldn't do this with testimonials or anything like that. Um, for example, it can be really overwhelming to have a bunch of text, but if you have minimalistic images or videos, this can be really great. I would definitely try this out. While we're looking at these community resources, this would be a really good time. I just wanted to quickly mention that if you do use Framer and you wanna build sites like this, but you don't know how, you can either check out a template from the Framer Marketplace, which is really good um, for beginners, but it can also be really limiting since you're sort of locked into a style and it can be hard to break out of that. Or you could do what I do, which is use a plugin called Compa. Now, Compa is a plugin that has almost a thousand pre-built website sections that lets you just drag and drop any kind of section onto the page. We also add around 10 or more components every week. So if that sounds good to you, definitely try that out. The link is in the description. If you don't, that's totally fine too. The choice is yours. I think that you're awesome no matter what you do because you're watching this video and that means that you want to make better websites, which I think makes you really cool. Then finally, we have this closing CTA section or as the Framer team calls it, the pivot section. This is pretty much the last chance that you have to hook the customer and get them to make the action that you want them to make. So you want to leave some impact. The three elements in this section do this pretty well. Uh, we've got a really memorable line, the site builder that gets design. It's simple, easy to remember, and most importantly, it says what they do different to 
other site builders. So you can pull up this site, pull up a different one, and you won't get them confused. You'll know exactly what this one does that the others don't, which is really important when uh, customers are making a buying decision. And then we have this video here that turns into an image of this glowing framer icon, uh, which serves as a really strong visual anchor to stick in your memory. Uh, it's pretty hard to forget. And the fact that it's so visually striking and just well done as well is an indicator that they do really understand quality and design. Uh, that's really important because they're clearly making this claim that they're a site builder that gets design. And then to finish it off, we've got this nice clean footer, nothing too special, but again, very clean. And they want you to remember the CTA section, not the footer. So I think this is a very intentional decision that they've made in terms of the design. So whether you love it or hate it, there's a lot to learn from this page. It's outcome driven, backed by so much proof and credibility. And those are three major reasons why Framer is absolutely crushing the game right now.